If you're looking for a portable SSD that's capable of hitting very fast speeds and a very small size, check out the Sateki Mini NVMe Enclosure. This is a really cool enclosure that uses 2230 NVMe SSDs to make it super small. Here it is next to the already very small Crucial X10 Pro, and you can just tell this thing is tiny. So this is gonna be a great option if you wanna move files off of an iPad or an iPhone. If you wanna film directly from your iPhone to this, this is gonna be a great choice for you. Sateki did send me this enclosure for free for purposes of making this video, but this is gonna be based on my experience using this drive in the real world. Here's the drive connected to my iPhone 15 Pro so you can see just how compact this thing actually is. So Techie says you can get speeds of up to 1,000 megabytes a second on the read and the write, but in the real world, I was getting speeds of about 970 on the write and 900 on the read. I've been testing it out using the Crucial P310 2230 SSD. So you will need to have these smaller 2230 size SSDs, but it just uses an M2 slots. So it's very easy to set these up. All you have to do is insert the SSD at an angle and then move the little rubber stopper out of the way as you press down and the stopper is gonna hold it in place. And then all you have to do is slide the cover back on top of it. So this is very small and compact. It has a built-in USB-C port on the side of it. And it also has this little lanyard that's really cool because you can actually open it up and it just acts as a little USB extender. So this is gonna be a great option if you don't want this hanging off the side of your computer or if you need just a little bit of length. This enclosure also has a fan in it and there's two vents on either side. I did notice that every once in a while the fans would rev up on this and this does get hot due to the fact that it uses an NVMe and all NVMe's run pretty hot, but I didn't notice this feeling any hotter than any other drive that I've used in the past. I've used this for several different things. I've edited videos on my computer, copied files from my iPhone, and I've also recorded from my iPhone 15 Pro onto this and it works great on all those different things. The biggest con of this is the fact that the port's always just out there. There's no real cover for it, aside from this little plastic cover that you're probably gonna lose pretty quickly. So just know that you are gonna have to be careful with this not to damage the USB port on the side of it. But that's also a benefit because unlike an SSD like the Crucial X10 Pro, you don't actually have to keep track of a cable with this. You can just easily insert this into your computer. It's ready to go and it's very compact, very small. So it's gonna take up barely any space, either in your pocket or in your computer or tech bag. One thing to watch out for is it will just plug directly into your computer, so be careful that you don't put too much pressure on the USB-C connector. So you do get pretty fast speeds on this. I had no issues with editing videos off of it. Just know that it's not gonna be as fast as a built-in SSD on your Mac computer. Those hit way faster speeds than this, and you can also buy more expensive, faster enclosures than this one. You're really buying this one if you wanna have a small enclosure where it's gonna be a great size for use with a phone, an iPad, or if you don't wanna keep track of the cable with an SSD. The Sateki Mini NVMe enclosure does retail for about $60, and if you wanna get an SSD to go with it, you're gonna spend about $80 to get the one terabyte Crucial 2230 drive, or a two terabyte one's gonna be closer to $160 or $170. So you're really paying for the compact size that makes this a great portable SSD that almost feels like using a flash drive. If you're interested in buying this or any of the other tech in this video, I do have links to buy in the description below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.